Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a general reading for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. So let's get into it. Okay. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. What does Scorpio need to know at this time, please? Please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and I also want to say to you guys, before I get started, yay! I'm so excited, and I am so grateful to every single one of you for all of the signs. We've reached 5,000 subscribers. I know we're like at 5,260 or something like that now, but um, I was so busy with Thanksgiving and trying to get as many readings out as I could to you guys, and then I had a special, and that was really busy, so anyway... I didn't get a chance to say thank you, so mwah, 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 mwah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and your support. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into it, Scorpio. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do we have so far? It's two. Okay. Okay, so some of you are dealing with an air sign person, Aries, uh, no, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because I'm saying air. Mm. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign, to, uh, Aries also, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for an air sign, or if you're dealing with an Aries, they could have the energy of the air sign as being like very no bullshit, outspoken, and truthful, okay? So, es posible. Ooh, and the tower, Okay. So this could be an unexpected catastrophe. This could be um, maybe going through a breakup with this person. It could be an ending, false truths collapsing. The tower is actually uh, sometimes in Aries. So that's interesting that I said Aries. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can get one more card out for Scorpio. Any other messages from the tarot? Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Nine of Swords. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, yeah, there's definitely some uh, inner suffering here, despair. Okay. I'm getting somebody could have uh, maybe had a miscarriage that could, I don't know, it, maybe that was the reason why you guys are not together, or that could just be the unexpected catastrophe. Maybe your partner is a um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or like I said, Aries, or just taking on that energy, and uh, this catastrophe could be the miscarriage. Or you could even have this energy because you're a water sign, Scorpio. So, or, and this is a general reading, so it could be somebody you know that might be going through a miscarriage as well. Okay. Um, let's see. Somebody with anxiety. It could also be um, somebody might be having like a severe case of anxiety due to some unexpected catastrophe or breakup. Um... Or finding out some, like I said, it could be also false truths collapsing. So someone could have been like very harsh towards you. And because you're more sensitive due to having anxiety, it could just feel like your world is crashing down. And it, it could just be because they were truthful about something that, you know, it just it, it really hurt you. Okay, so there's different levels of the tower here. Okay, some are extreme, some are not so extreme. But I don't even want to say that because... You know, you have anxiety. That's extreme to you. That's valid. You know? Okay, so what other messages do we have for you, Scorpio? But you guys know what's going on in your lives, so you know how this resonates with you. I don't need to know the details. I just relay the messages. Oh, we got a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me collect these. Hold on. any no 
Okay. All right, so we have gratitude here. So some of you may be grateful to hear this truth. You may be grateful for whatever it is because now you can heal. So for some of you, it could be like, yeah, I knew that's how you felt, but you, you never told me the truth. So thank you for finally telling me the truth because now I can let go of this tower and I can move on and heal, you know, here with relaxation. You won't feel the anxiety anymore. You'll get to relax because the worst is over. Okay, you learned from what it was, this truth that you needed to know. And you're actually grateful for it, like I said. So some of you feel like it's a spiritual awakening. And now you can finally move on and have a new beginning. Okay. I love how this just told the story so beautifully. Okay. All right. So let's see what advice we have for you from the archangels and the animals. I'm, I'm hearing harsh truth. So you heard this harsh truth, but be grateful for it so you can move on. Okay, what advice do we have? I was just saying this for another sign. Everything happens for a reason. So sometimes we have to go through the bad to get to the good. Okay. Okay, so swan. Demonstrate grace and majesty. Archangel Bokpi. Yeah. So keep your head held high. You be that swan. And you move forward with dignity. That's your advice. Because you don't need to be at the bottom of anyone's shoe. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for uh, Scorpio? Okay, thank you. Okay, now what do we have for you from the Moonology deck? You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay. So you're going to get this news soon. Soon based on when you're watching this. It's a timeless video. Confidence is your key to success. Swan is being confident. New moon in Leo. So you may be dealing with a Leo. Okay. The new moon phase, or the new moon in Leo, as far as timing goes, may be significant to you. So make sure you check that out. Last shuffle, any other messages? Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we're on to the initial cards. What do we have for Scorpio? Two more times. Any initials? Any letters? Okay, thank you. Okay, one time. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have V. I'm hearing Veranda. H. I'm getting Husband. G, girlfriend, also GG, and Garland, I don't know why Garland is coming in, like Judy Garland, even Christmas Garland, I, however that resonates with you guys, A, the word hag is spelled out. Someone may have called you a hag or you may call someone else a hag. And that could be like the harsh truth that, you know, you tell them, I always thought you were a hag and blah, 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 blah. And, and back that up with whatever other details you choose or vice versa. Okay. And V, I'm getting vicious. 
you may tell someone they're a vicious hag. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Peace and love. Please don't forget to check out my links down below in the description box for um, my website, for donating, and all that good stuff. Peace and love, and I will see you guys in the next reading.